Now we're going to talk about the Ogre exporters that were included in the FaceFX 2010 evaluation installer. Uh, we've got our character in Maya loaded up, and we're just first we're going to make sure that the plugin is actually loaded in the plugin manager. Uh, we want to make sure FX Ogre Maya exporter.mlo is loaded. Uh, since it is, we can just go to export all. We want to make sure the FX Ogre files is selected. And we're going to be exporting to a very specific uh, directory, this uh, meshes folder inside of the My Documents uh, FaceFX Studio 2010 Ogre Resources meshes folder to be specific. Um, we're going to call this Slade Maya Export to differentiate it from the Slade Maya that shipped with FaceFX Studio. And that's going to export all sorts of Ogre files. Uh, into that specific directory which is scanned by FaceFX Studio when it looks for .mesh and .scene files to load. Uh, you can see some of the files that are loaded here. Uh, there's a text-based material file uh, which is an Ogre format and if we wanted to get more advanced materials we could edit that file. Uh, there's a, a text-based .scene file which has uh, primarily used for lighting information uh, and to place the character into the scene. Uh, and there's the binary .mesh and .skeleton files uh, as well as, as the texture files that are copied over. Uh, if we want to test to see what that looked like, we can load up the no save version of FaceFX Studio 2010. Uh, we have a blank actor here so there's no reference pose or bone poses that might be getting in the way of our character. So it's a good way to test to see if the export was successful. Um, we're just going to change the render asset to Slade Maya Export is the name that we gave, and because it's in that directory, uh, the FaceFX Studio 2010 no save will find it. And the content looks like it's come in successfully. If this was a morph character, uh, we'd get a message saying that uh, morph target nodes were imported for us that we could animate. And we can check out the skeleton by clicking on that and making sure that the uh, skeleton looks good. Uh, if we wanted to troubleshoot lighting, uh, we can modify that scene file or delete it entirely so the mesh file is loaded but we'll just delete the lighting nodes in the scene and we'll just create a new actor and now when we bring it in there are no lights in the scene and so by default, we just get a light that's attached to the default camera. So anywhere we point this camera uh, will be lit. Uh, it's a good way to troubleshoot lighting. Uh, we can always create a new camera, call it Cam2. And this will let us see shadows because the lighting is attached to the default camera. So that's a brief introduction to the Maya to Ogre to FaceFX pipeline. You definitely want to check out FaceFX.com. Uh, in the documentation section, if you're having any difficulties, that's where we're going to be uh, posting uh, information that's a little more specific to problems that people are having, as well as the forums um, are a good resource if you're running into export problems.